every single year over 1500 new toxins are introduced to our water source, our food source, our soil, the air that we breathe. When we're talking about good diet, good lifestyle modifications, and then quality evidence-informed and evidence-based supplements, it's a little bit more work and it's a little bit more time for people, but guess what? The payoff is there. It's, it's 10 companies essentially that control all the food in the world, basically. Why are we getting food, artificial food dyes that cause cancer in our kids' cereals? It's because they don't actually care about your kids. They care about making money. And they know that European parents are on it. They're not going to feed their kids that, but American parents are so behind, we don't know, and we keep buying it. You're watching Unhealthy America on The Sean Spicer Show, brought to you by Liver Health Formula. All right, folks, welcome to The Sean Spicer Show. You know, normally we focus on politics, and I think in some ways, what we're going to talk to you today is very connected to that. You think about everything that we went through during the pandemic, things that we were told, who should we trust? The government, doctors. I know that's where I look to, right? Think about it. So many of the things that we hear about our health are tied to government information, things that our doctors tell us. And in many cases, there are things that we should be asking additionally questions that we have. Why are things going the way they are? Why are solutions limited in the way that we're given them? And today I've got two great guests that are going to help us break this down. Alex Clark is doing an amazing job on her podcast of asking questions about what the government is telling us, what doctors are telling us, and what we should be questioning. And then Dr. Holly Lucille is a naturopathic doctor that is going to help us break down what's really happening and some things that are probably affecting a lot of us that we just didn't know, and the solutions that will help us get better. And frankly, a lot of the questions that we should be asking as we go through our daily lives, our healthcare, as we're seeing government do things and not do things. Uh, so we have a lot to break down because as you can imagine, in the last several years, a lot of changes have happened to our food, our diet, what the government is telling us is safe, is not safe, what big pharma is pushing on us, et cetera, et cetera. So, I, there's a lot that's going on in society that I've been asking and a lot of questions that I want answers to. And today I'm going to ask them and I think you're going to want to know these answers because I, I know I did. And in this new first TV exclusive special, I'm going to help explore the downward spiral, spiral that has been happening in our healthcare in America in the last several decades and what we can all do to get healthier. So. As I told you, uh, we've got two great guests today. Alex Clark has been asking a lot of the questions that I want answers to on her podcast. And Dr. Holly Lucille has been a leading expert. You've probably seen her on shows like Dr. Oz and The Doctors and all over. I wanted to get her take on what's going on and the solutions that she can help offer. So I, I want to tell you, though, today about one of our special sponsors that's making this possible. Uh, liver health formula. They're, they are at the forefront of this because the interesting thing that's happening right now in America is there's a hundred million people that have the effects of an epidemic that no one's talking about. It's called fatty liver. It's something that I didn't even know about until I started looking into it. You think about all the things that our livers do. They handle cholesterol, alcohol, toxins, statins, cigarette smoke. It all gets processed through the liver. And that's why so many of us are feeling sluggish, maybe having a loss of energy or having trouble sleeping. And if you're having trouble sleeping, that's affecting your heart as well. And it's so important that we start thinking about how can we protect our liver? How can we get it healthy again? And there's a great thing that we can be doing right now. And liver health formula is one of those solutions that we can be using to get better. It's an all natural supplement which contains 11 clinically proven botanicals that help us recharge and protect our liver. The company that's behind it has been helping more than 2 million of our fellow Americans with all of their products. The best part is you can try liver health formula and receive an additional bottle of nano powered omega-3s that will also help your heart as well. This is great, right? So you can try liver health formula if you go to getliverhelp.com slash spicer. Getliverhelp.com slash spicer. 
All right, I wanna get into this discussion with Alice Clark, Alex Clark and hear what she has been doing to address so many of these issues. Alex Clark, uh, I appreciate you coming on the show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Sean, for having me. This is my favorite topic, big food, oh, good. big pharma. It's, it, well, it's, it's become a favorite, but a concerning topic for me. I, I'm very concerned as I watch your videos that you've done and that I see uh, that so many other people, doctors and just people of interest, like what, what made you start to press the envelope on this and, and kind of go down these rabbit holes? Well, for me, it was, first of all, finding out that the food pyramid that we learned about in the 90s was completely fake. I remember f learning that and how different industries fo in, in food paid for the slice of the pyramid that they got. And that really radicalized me. Now, this is all happening during the pandemic. So I'm already radicalized about the COVID vaccine and all the pressure that society was facing, having to get that. And so I just started thinking, you know, as a conservative, I know that mainstream media is corrupt. I know that big tech is corrupt. I know that our education system, Hollywood, you know, I see the corruption in all these industries. I don't trust them. But I had never thought about pharma really or big food for sure ever. I was... Uh, the self-proclaimed chicken nugget princess. I lived for processed food. That was my entire diet forever for my entire life. So until really pandemic time, I had never been exposed to any of this information. And so it was fun for me. I was like, I'm going to go down this wormhole and start seeing what I can find. And what I found was genuinely chilling. And so you saw in my in my guests that I have on my podcast, The Spillover, started to change because I'm interviewing people that I'm interested in. So, you know, as my interests change, my guests change, and all of a sudden it started to becoming a lot more health and wellness type of episodes, interviewing all these different doctors and clinical psychologists and uh, and wanting to get to the truth about what what is going on with our food in America and with the medicine medicine that we're given in America? It's really terrifying. I, you know, I said at the beginning of this, I, I felt like growing up to your point, like, oh, here's a food pyramid. The government's clearly done its research there. You know, the doctors are telling you what's best for you. And you start to realize, oh, no, it's actually just funded by big pharma or and, and it, it's it's weird. I always thought you have a problem, you go to a doctor and they tell you what to do and you just do it. And now I find myself constantly asking more and more questions. As you went down, as you put it, the, the wormhole, what was your, give me like the top three things that you've realized in say the past year that pre-COVID Alex Clark didn't realize? Oh my gosh. I did not know that antidepressants don't cure depression. I didn't know that the American Diabetes Association and the American Heart Association accept money from brands and companies like Coca-Cola. I, I didn't know that um, most ads that news companies get, uh, most ad money is coming from pharmaceutical companies. And so if there's breaking news, that's going to be in opposition of some amazing pharmaceutical drug that they're shilling, that they can control the copy that the news anchors are reading. This is stuff that you just, you, you, it's ingrained in you to trust these people. It's ingrained right. in you. Why would the milk industry, why would the dairy industry, uh, what could be corrupt in that? It's just drink milk. Well, there's a lot, you know, there, the chicken industry, it's, it's 10 companies essentially that control all the food in the world, basically. And so you see then the power that they have over not only Americans, but everybody. Um, oh, and, and finding out that people that are in Europe are getting different ingredients in the same products as us. We have an entire nation of mothers who collectively believe that Chick-fil-A is a healthier option. Are they right or wrong? <laughs> They're wrong. Which fast food ranks dead last for you? Like it is a death factory. Dunkin' Donuts is really bad. All of these companies have taken out these chemicals for citizens overseas and not for U.S. citizens. So we suffer. Cheaper. Yeah. They're Americans and they right. want Americans to suffer over people in other countries. Yes, because it's cheaper for them to use artificial food dyes because it has a longer shelf life. Real food breaks down over time. So a bag of Doritos in England is going to have different things in it than a bag of 
Doritos in America. Now, why is that? Kellogg's right now is under a lot of pressure. That's It's all being spearheaded by the food babe, if you know her, uh, Vani. She has an amazing blog where she exposes this. She's basically an investigative food journalist. And she's been putting the pressure on Kellogg's getting thousands of moms from across America to sign this petition asking them to please make the ingredients in their cereal the same that kids in Europe are getting. Why are they, why are we getting food, artificial food dyes that cause cancer in our kids' cereals? It's because they don't actually care about your kids. They care about making money. And they know that European parents are on it. They're not going to feed their kids that. But American parents are so behind, we don't know. And we keep buying it. So if we're willing to keep buying it, they're going to keep feeding us poison because it's cheaper. This is the stuff that has to change. And this is the stuff that conservative parents especially should really care about. I'm so glad you brought that up. You know, you always hear about the bread in Europe. It's we it doesn't have the same preservatives and the chemicals, but it's it's the stuff that we eat every day. And and you think about a bag of Doritos and some of the stuff that's actually not just different in Europe, but banned in Europe. They don't allow these red dyes. And I thought to myself, I, I I've seen your videos and I go to myself, well, wait a second, why would the FDA and the CDC allow this if it's that bad? Money. Money really? and power. Yes, money and power. Money and power. But I, I guess I, the thing that's so funny is I, 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 I always think that they overregulate. That's what I, you know, as a Republican, as a conservative, I'm always like, we're against regulation. Well, I would have assumed that we would have had more stringent regulations than Europe, not less stringent. Right. But in America, we're supposed to be protecting life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Right. That's what we're guaranteed as Americans and human beings. And these companies, the rules that they have in place, um, the the way that we let them control things, pull strings to get ahead uh, at the expense of Americans health, I would say we're not living life to the fullest. We're not happy. Um, this is hindering our experience to live full, amazing lives as Americans, the way that they are poisoning us. Is this, I mean, how much this ties into to obesity? Oh, it ties into it a lot. Uh, they actually love that we have an obesity epidemic going on. They want us sick who's and they? fat. Who's the, who's uh, the they? Big Pharma. Big Pharma and Big Food, they work together. So think of Big Pharma and Big Food as like siblings. Uh, <laughs> they need each other. They rely on each other to both maintain power and status uh, and money. They, so here's, so Big Pharma relies on Big Food to keep us fat. And it's starting in elementary schools. Primarily all of the food that the kids are eating in elementary school from their cafeteria even is processed food. Now, what is ultra processed food? What does that mean? We're talking about frozen food that comes in uh, bags or food that comes in boxes. And you see, you know, one one food item has 50, 60 ingredients in it. Okay. Those are what we think of as processed food. So those hamburgers, those chicken sandwiches, you know, you think a chicken sandwich is just chicken and breading. No, even a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich has over 50 ingredients, including ingredients that we make silly putty out of. That is what you're eating. So when you're ingesting this poison and our kids are eating it younger and younger, we're getting fatter and fatter, right? Childhood obesity rates are sky high. The pharmaceutical company is able to go in, come in and say, oh, don't worry. October, 2023, started testing Ozempic on children as young as seven years old. We have the solution for you. Let's get you on Ozempic. Let's get you on Wagovi, a child, an elementary school age child. So now you have a child that is on this drug that by the way, is, is brand new and has never been tested long-term for an issue like uh, obesity or weight loss, using it for that reason. And they're going to start on this drug for life. What we do know about these weight loss drugs is that kids are on, or people are on them. What we know about these weight loss drugs is that people are on them and that the weight immediately comes back if you stop taking the drug. So what does it look like if you, you're not going to want the weight to come back. So if you have to maintain on this drug, which by the way, we're seeing um, record lawsuits with stomach paralysis, people saying that their stomachs are turning into stone, the 
serious physical complications that are coming from that. If you're on that, then for what life? What other drugs does Big Pharma need to then prescribe to you to deal with all of the other physical complications that are going to come from the one drug? Because of course, uh, there's no um, magic pill that has no side effects. It doesn't exist. So when you're taking these drugs, then read the fine print. What are the other things now that they're, they're going to have to give you other drugs for? So it's it's a chain effect. It's to keep us sick and compliant and reliant and a, a customer for life. Uh, so the other thing that has become like a, a huge interest of, of mine, and I know you cover it in a bunch of these videos, is, are what they're starting to call forever chemicals. How important is the cookware that we use? We are sacrificing our health on the altar of convenience. I hate washing these pans. If only someone would come up with something. These Teflon nonstick pans are full of carcinogenic chemicals. When you cook in those, especially if they have scratches in them, then more oh. of those toxins are released. Walk us through what we need to know about where forever chemicals are in our life right now. Yeah, so forever chemicals basically you find in your pots and pans. You find them in your waterproof clothing, like raincoats. Um, they are filled with carcinogens, which cause, okay, so that means cause cancer. Um, so PFAS, forever chemicals, are linked to cancer, high cholesterol, thyroid disease, liver damage, asthma, allergies. Um, you see a reduced vaccine response in children, which vaccines is another thing, but if you are giving your kids vaccines, it interferes with that. They have been linked to a decrease in fertility, newborn deaths, low birth weight, birth defects, delayed development in the brain. I would never, ever use any pan that says nonstick because they are still using Teflon. Now you say, no, they're not. Everything says uh, no Teflon, nonstick without Teflon. Here's what's going on. They just call them PTFEs now instead of PTFAs or PTFOs. So when you look up, well, what is the long chemical word that I could never pronounce for PTFE, the, the, what that stands for? It stands for this chemical that is the same polymer as Teflon. Well, consumers know, we know now that Teflon isn't safe. We know that it causes severe birth defects, that it causes cancer. So consumers are looking out for that. They want to find the pans that are still going to give them those nonstick benefits that don't have those chemicals. Well, this says it has PTFE or PFEs or whatever. Uh, that's not PFAS, so that's not dangerous. That's why consumer packaging for pots and pans say no PFAS or PFOs, AKA no Teflon. We use PTFEs now, completely safe. But the thing is, is that PTFEs are Teflon. They are Teflon. They just changed the name. So don't, in my opinion, don't trust nonstick. I would use stainless steel or cast iron only. Okay, so you, one of the things you threw out was like raincoats. And, and I know workout gear is another thing. I, I, I just, I, I thought of the list as you're delineating it of all of the things that this causes. And I go back to my earlier question, where's the government right now saying, hey, we're not gonna let you put on clothing that's a known carcinogen? Well, look at um, companies like DuPont chemical, right? So there is an amazing, I always recommend this movie. There's an amazing movie with Mark Ruffalo and Anne Hathaway from a couple years ago. It's called Dark Waters. And it is all about the true story of how DuPont chemical was knowingly poisoning Americans with Teflon, um, putting it into our water supply. And the government, it, it, it basically became one of the biggest lawsuits of our time, just up there with, with Purdue Pharma, right? The Purdue Pharma uh, yeah. company with um, Oxycontin. So th these companies, the, it's like we try to go after them, but they have so much control in Washington. Uh, they they buy towns. Your your kid's baseball team is funded by these companies. Uh, the the benches that you sit on in your city park are bought by those companies, and they do that. They they sink monies into our schools, into our universities, and so nobody wants to touch them. It's so strategic. It's so strategic. Your huge stadiums in your town. I know in Louisville, K Kentucky, that's where I grew up. We have the KFC Yum Center. That's where all the, the musical artists uh, perform and where we have our big basketball games and things like that. So this is all a strategic move to maintain a certain level of, of control and money and power so that nobody can come after them. And that's why when you see people like Purdue or DuPont Chemical, um, people coming after them, it takes 
20 plus years for these lawsuits to to happen. So, but when you say bought and paid, I mean, I assume this includes our politicians, right? Because I don't hear a single politician fighting back, not one. Um, Senator Grassley, Senator Grassley is somebody, uh, Congressman Thomas Massey is somebody. Those are two people that I really like. And um, I have a plan to uh, interview Congressman Massey coming up soon about this strategically, like from right. from a law standpoint, what can we do to change this right. and challenge big pharma and big food? It sounds like he's got a huge hill to climb. One of the videos that you did, um, I've got about a minute and change left here with you, is blew my mind. You had a dentist on and you were talking about like mouthwatch in fluoride. And and I I mean, I remember going to the dentist six months ago and them asking it, did I want an extra dose of fluoride and was that covered or not? And then I watched your video and I'm like, good thing I said no. Yeah, so I interviewed this holistic dentist. His name is Dr. Kelly Blodgett. He talked about fluoride side effects. He said that fluoride in your toothpaste can absolutely affect brain IQ and even bone health, which is really scary. What is the truth about fluoride? Is it a neurotoxin? The list of studies goes on and on and on. The decreasing of brain function by measuring IQ of children, neurologically, it degrades nerve function. The exposure of fluoride leads to decreased uh, brain function and IQ testing. If you expose your enamel in your teeth to fluoride, it will make your teeth more resistant against acid. But there is no way that you can put fluoride on the tooth without it permeating into the soft tissues of the gum, the tongue, your cheeks, and have these side effects of it getting into your brain, your bloodstream. Fluoride neurologically degrades nerve function. This is something parents need to know. You need to be looking for toothpaste that says fluoride free. It also has a negative impact uh, impact on bone health. Brittle bones, areas with fluoride in the water uh, have evidence where, you know, because fluoride is another thing that you get in your tap water. Right. So when you look at communities that have fluoride in their tap water, you see evidence of bone health problems in, in those people, in those communities. You can see it show up in brown patches on the teeth. So it really makes you think about the people who lived before us who did not have fluoride in their water or in their toothpaste, you know, how were they able to survive? How were they, they able to function? Um, fluoride does nothing for cavities. So there are other things that you can be doing. A lot of that goes back to the food. Uh, you know, your your processed carbs, your, your goldfish crackers, those turn into sugar on the teeth. So people think, well, I don't drink soda. Why am I getting cavities? But you sit there and you eat Cheez-Its all day long that turns to sugar staying on your teeth. So there's a lot that you can learn from my podcast, I think, from these people that I have on that it's really challenging culture um, and trying to find real remedies to heal a sick culture, whether physically, spiritually, uh, and emotionally. And that's on the Spillover podcast with Alex Clark, anywhere you get your podcasts and on YouTube, if you like to watch interviews, Real Alex Clark on YouTube. All right, there we go. I learned a lot and I've already watched the videos. Uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. All right, that was amazing. I'm so glad that Alex was able to talk to us because I'm having so many of the same questions come up and she's been asking those things. Next, I want to talk to Dr. Holly Lucille. As I said earlier in the show, you've probably seen her on shows like Dr. Oz or The Doctors or seen her quoted in health publications. She's a leading expert in this whole area. Um, and, and so I want to get her take on what's going on. And as I mentioned earlier, right, you think about, all of the things that our liver specifically is dealing with, there's a hundred million Americans. That's like one in three that are dealing with the effects of a fatty liver. I told you earlier in the show, I didn't even know that that was an issue. But for many of us, that's why you're feeling sluggish. That's why you're not having the energy levels that you used to have. And this isn't just older Americans. It's affecting kids too. And all of the things that our current environment are contributing to this. The liver processes over 500 things a day. So all those things that we're throwing at it in our society, chemicals, cholesterol, alcohol, that's affecting it. The beautiful part about this is that there are things that we can be doing. And I'm going to talk to Dr. Lucille about that. But one of the key supplements that will get us on the right path is liver health formula. That will help us get back on the path to a healthy liver and get us back that energy and that stamina and all this thing. The beautiful part about it is the company that's behind Liver Health Formula has already helped 2 million people with the products that they're putting out. 
Liver Health Formula has 11 clinically proven botanicals that will help us recharge and protect our liver. And if you want to join me in getting our livers back in order, you can go to liver, uh, getliverhelp.com getliverhelp.com slash Spicer. The best part is when you go and order right now, you'll receive a free bottle of Nano Power Omega 3s to help your heart as well. This is an amazing deal. So go to getliverhelp.com slash Spicer to join me. All right, I wanna bring in Dr. Lucille and start this conversation. All right, I wanna bring in Dr. Holly Lucille. She is a naturopathic doctor. She's got over 20 years experience. And if you recognize her, that's probably because you've seen her on The Doctors or Dr. Oz or one of Time Magazine's list. You get my point. She is definitely an expert in this field. Doctor, welcome to the show. John, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thanks. The thing that I find so interesting about this is I've learned more about what the liver does than I ever thought I, I needed to. I mean, so just... Explain to me, and frankly, everybody here, what the function of the liver is. What does it do for us and why is it important? I love that question. We don't have enough time to go through it all because- <laughs> over, over Wait, so you're home. telling me that that's why over you went five, to medical school. Over 500 different functions a day, right? So, but let's just do high level top of yeah. it. Right? So obviously detoxification, that's probably what it's best known for. It filters toxins from the blood, including metabolites from drugs and alcohol. Um, the, the, the big thing that people don't understand, it has everything to do with your metabolism. You know, as we grow older, everybody's like, uh, I think my metabolism is slowing down. It's not necessarily true in the research. The liver is getting more and more burdened. And that is why the metabolism is slowing down. It plays a key role in metabolizing carbohydrates, proteins, fats into nutrients. It also helps regulate blood sugar levels. Uh, other things, protein synthesis, hormones, balancing hormones, bioproduction, and the storage of actually vitamins and minerals, including iron and glycogen, which is stored glucose, releasing them into the body when it's needed. And so the liver is just, I would say, super important, 500 different functions a day. Gosh, and I always thought it was just my slow metabolism. It was uh, <laughs> that was the liver. So I, I guess the question then is, okay, so what causes this? What what is create? I mean, we, we just said 100 million Americans. What What is the cause of it? Okay, great question. So yeah, 100 million Americans are suffering from something called a fatty liver, or I would say even an overburdened liver, right? The liver, the body, it works brilliantly. It's an incredible machine. But when we have an overall burden, we stop utilizing these organs efficiently, right? So I would say alcohol consumption is very important. It is oh. um, an, it, it is leading cause of liver disease, but also sugar and obesity linked to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And in fact, Sean, we're seeing these in children. And that is where fat accumulates not only around the liver, but in the liver cells themselves. And it stops that organ from doing those 500 different functions. Toxins in our environment. And you know, every single year, over 1,500 new toxins are introduced to our water source, our food source, our soil, the air that we breathe. You know, some genetics, and then of course, medications. Your liver has to process all of those. So those are just some of the contributing factors. So what, okay, so let's say that you you have a, a, a fatty liver. Like, what are the other health complications that can come of this? Oh, well, Here's what happens in my practice, right? Somebody comes in there. Here's what they're complaining of mostly. This is what I've been noticing in the last three to five years. They don't understand what's going on. They can't pinpoint it. They've gone to other doctors and they're like, you're fine. All of your labs are fine. I run a simple blood test and guess what? Their liver enzymes are actually elevated. And what happens is that liver enzymes are very specialized enzymes in the liver cells themselves. And if the liver is damaged from too much fat, sugar, alcohol, toxins, those enzymes will seep outside and get into the bloodstream and that's where we catch it. And so that is where we understand that the liver is being damaged. And the good news is that the liver is pretty resilient as long as you get the right nutrients into it and it can heal, it can actually heal. The body has an innate ability to heal as long as we, one, remove obstacles to that process, right? So trying to decrease our alcohol intake, decrease the medications that we're taking, decrease 
our our um, exposure to those toxins and then increase the nutrients that can actually heal the liver. That's what's most important. So I guess when it comes to 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 understanding if this affects you, do you, do you go to your doctor? Do you ask for a, a stand or does a standard blood test pick this up? Because I, I get what you're talking about. I mean, I when you're saying this, I go, oh my God, is that that that's what I feel like a lot of the time. So do I ask my doctor to run a test? Do I look at my previous blood work or yeah. how do I know if this affects me? Great question. So I kind of interrupted myself, which I do often. Sorry about that. But what people come in complaining about is like protracted fatigue. They don't know why. Um, obesity, not obesity so much, but um, obesity, yes. But sometimes people that just have this extra belly fat that they can't get rid of no matter what they do. Those are the two things that get my attention where I'm like, you know what? Let's check out those liver enzymes. And so sure, you can present to your doctor and say, this is what's going on. I want to get my liver checked out. Or as I've said, you know, about five to 10 years ago, the big organ that we were talking about was adrenal health, right? Because of all the modern day stressors. And I think that conversation has shifted. I think everybody in our modern day needs to be focused on liver health because it's such an important organ. And we've got so many contributing factors to why it's being less and less efficient in what it's supposed to do if it was truly healthy. So, I mean, you're, when we said this at the beginning, 100 million Americans that this is affecting, that's just about one in three and a half Americans. So this is something that all of us need to be concerned with. Yep. It, I, I believe that. From what I'm seeing in my clinical practice and the research, this is up and coming. And again, children, <laughs> children who are not sipping on any alcohol, I hope, it's, <laughs> it's the sugar, it's our diet, it's our environment. And the liver is taking a punch for sure. And we've, and, but the, the good news is, is we've got things that can help. Okay. So let's, I mean, there's two groups of people that I see from my clinical analysis, if you will, the yeah. ones that, that want to avoid this based on what you just said and the ones that have it. So walk us through both groups. If you sit back and say, okay, I just heard what Dr. Lucille said. I want to avoid this. What changes should you make now? And then for the people who have it, what should they do? You are so good at what you do. Those are great questions. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, one, if you have it, let's start getting your diet back in balance. So I'm, I'm going to be redundant with everything everybody's- No, doing. please. Eat in a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, clean, right? Lean proteins, all of those things can support liver health. The thing that I've been focusing on most when it comes to food and diet is the quality of food. We've lost that. You can eat a healthy diet, but you don't know where it's sourced from. And so we have to understand that. So, you know, all of those qualifying uh, words like organic, that's huge. Um, grass fed, grass finished, wild caught. So those whole good, clean and quality foods are important. Limiting alcohol, getting your place in a it, getting your body and your health in a place where you can reduce the amount of medications that you're on is huge regular exercise, avoiding toxins, right? So ewg.org is this nonprofit environmental working group. It's easy to go there and look at the clean 15 dirty dozen as far as organic is concerned. And then all of the health and beauty aids or clean supplies that you have in your house, you can see, are there options that can be better for you and your family and your environment that are not going to be causing and causing issues in your body because, look, our skin is very permeable. Anything you do, it gets absorbed into it. And so really reducing your exposure to that is an important part too. So let's say I go in to see you and you say, yep, you've got a fatty liver and I follow your recommendations. And we're, I want to get to a couple more of them because I know there's some supplements that people can take to really help this. Can you get back, if you if you have a fatty liver and you do the things that you prescribe, can that get you back to a good place? You know what? Not only a good place, that and beyond. I think what, what I've seen in, in, in my practice is that it's kind of a wake-up call for people. So not only does the liver, it's very resilient, come back, but they also get into the mindset that, you know what? 
Prevention is the cure. I've got 50, 60 more years to live. Let's do it healthfully. Let's do it in a great way. And so absolutely, this is not a death sentence. This is just a wake up call. So I, I know that beyond the, the healthy lifestyle, eating better, exercise, alcohol, et cetera, there are, there are supplements that can help expedite this process. Can you talk a little bit about what people might want to consider taking and adding to their routine? Another great question because adding, so a supplement by definition just means adding or enhancing something that's already there, right? So we want to get all the basics down, the lifestyle, the environment, the good diet, but then yes. So there is one supplement called liver health formula. All right. So there's a lot of different ingredients that we could talk about. There's milk thistle, there's artichoke extract, there's turmeric, there's beetroot. There's, these are, these are natural ingredients that have evidence as far as liver health is concerned. So 500 different functions a day, we've got many different ingredients naturally that can actually support all of those different aspects. But if you want to get them in all a standalone, you're looking at, first of all, a compliance issue because people are like, forget about it. <laughs> There's like 13 other things I have to take. But <laughs> in the liver health formula, they're all combined in in appropriate dosages. What does that mean? It means they're consistent with the literature. So liver health formula, two capsules a day, Pure Health Research manufactures it. It's an incredible formula and I have seen it work not only for, for, for prevention, but actually for reversing this issue that is on the rise on a daily basis. I, you mentioned Pure Health. Why? What, what makes these guys unique uh, and why do you like working with them? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've been a consultant in the natural product industry for 20 plus years. Here's why I love them. They care about people. They are involved with vitamin angels. So that means that a percentage of their profits always go to helping underserved women and children. They have a 365 day money back guarantee. It doesn't matter if you just say, I've taken it all, right? Whatever you bought, I don't think it worked for me. They're like, just send us an email. We're going to give you every penny you spent back. They are manufactured everything right here in the United States. And all of their formulas are, as I said, consistent with the research as far as dosage. There's a lot of products out there that can have what I say is a bottle claim, right? So it's a, you're like this, 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 you can see all the ingredients, but it's not a body claim. It's not going to do a darn thing. They're like fairy dose, fairy or like just little fairy dosages in there that it's not going to do anything in the body. So they're just good people and they are quality when it comes to the science. And that's really why I like working with them. So just to kind of wrap this up, I mean, if, if I make the changes that you suggested and I start taking the supplements, uh, and as I, as people know, if, if you're interested in, in, getting this, you can go to getliverhelp.com slash Spicer. We've got a great deal for you on this. Mm. But, but, but here's the question I have for you. Like, give me a timeline. Is this something that I, I, I it's going to take months and years, something that I want to do for the rest of my life? What is it if I, if I commit to a healthier life, wh what does that look like? Ah, another great question because it didn't take an overnight to get you or not you or to people <laughs> to do, hypothetically where they're at, right? It is taken years. Yeah. So, it's not going to take years to reverse this, but it is going to take some time. You know, I grew up the daughter of two pharmacists and here, take this, uh, from a medication perspective was, I was well-versed in that. It was like, here, take this medication here, 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 take this, but it didn't do anything to get to the root cause or actually make the body healthier. Here, take this is easy. You just, you go to your doctor, you get a prescription, you go to your pharmacist, or you can even have it delivered. Now you take your medication. That's your healthcare. When we're talking about good diet, good lifestyle modifications, and then quality evidence-informed and evidence-based supplements, it's a little bit more work and it's a little bit more time for people, but guess what? The payoff is there. You can reverse this in less than two to three months with consistency on all fronts. Uh, well, I mean, then this is a no-brainer, right? I mean, if you think about the, the importance that you're talking about, the functions it does, and, and frankly, all of the things in this world right now in society that are going through this, this to me is is a no brainer when it comes to improving your health and sustaining good health. So I, I get it. And I, I think that I, I just doing stuff like this and talking about it to me is so important because to your point, I think there are things that 
we feel these days. I, I, when you say that, oh my, you know, the fatigue, I'll go, oh my gosh, I, it, it's now resonating exactly. And I think for so many people of that hundred million mm. Americans, they just don't know what, to, how to put their finger on it. And you're right. You walk in and you go, you know, doc, I, I don't know what's really happening. I feel a little more sluggish, but I don't know what it is in particular. This is, this may be what's ailing so many people and they just don't know it. You're right. And you know what? Here's the thing. There's always been these questions for me, like, do you think everybody should be on a multivitamin? I'm like, as time grew for me and I understood what was going on with our soil, I'm like, yeah, to ensure any nutritional gaps, that's good. Then the whole world of probiotics came about. And I was like, do you think somebody would ask me, do you think everybody should be on a probiotic? I'm like, given what I know, I think that might be a fair statement. Do you think everybody should be on liver support? Given what I know, I think so. <laughs> I really do. Well, I mean, I hate to say that, but we are fighting against our modern day society. You know, we never used to have a word called organic because back in the day, everything was organic. Um, we didn't have to worry about it. But because of, you know, so many things, which of course we could talk about ad nauseum, the agricultural revolution and the, the, the food industry, et cetera, there are things that people just need to understand and we need to get back to more holism. But do I think that everybody should be on a little bit of liver support? I do. I really do. Well, I, and, and the numbers bear it out, right? hundred million Americans, as I said, were 330 million. I mean, that's right, you one do in three. math better than I, I don't know how many people live on. But I mean, yeah. the, the math supports it. Can you take out really young people, maybe really old people and you go, okay, then this is probably you. Uh, Dr. Holly Lucille, thank you. Cause I, I, I again, there's so many things that are ailing us right now. And the question is, how do we fix it? You just gave us an amazing solution. I really appreciate your time and thanks for being here today. Yeah. And so again, get liverhelp.com slash Spicer. And then also with that, you're going to get a free bottle of nano powered Omega, which is pure health researchers, that nanotechnology. When you take something, it's important that it's absorbed and that Omega-3 is going to be absorbed um, a lot more than others. Well, I appreciate you and everything that you guys are doing to, to keep us informed and healthy. Thank you, you guys for watching today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another great episode of the Sean Spicer Show. As always, please make sure that not only are you watching this here on the first on channel 347 on DirecTV, Samsung, Vizio, all those amazing places, but also go to YouTube, Rumble, Spotify, and Apple. We'll see you back here soon. Well, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get more.